Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to my channel, Hairlicious. If you guys are new, make sure to subscribe so that you guys are updated on hair loss and hair transplant topics, as well as updates on current treatments in the pipelines. Visit my website at hairlicious.com to purchase your microneedle devices, which are scientifically proven to stimulate hair growth. My low level ACE therapy cap, hair growth vitamins, DHC Bakun shampoo and serum, and a few other products for those who are suffering from hair loss. So in today's video, I wanted to share with you something pretty interesting and something that you really don't see too often online. I was on Reddit sub page called Tress List. Uh, there's a lot of good information on that page as well as interesting topics about hair loss and hair transplants as well as current research. So if you guys have the time, make sure to check it out. So I came across this post from username George the Warlock and he shared this photo of a supposed 113 year old grandpa with an incredible head of hair as you guys can see. In fact, at age 113, I would classify this guy probably as Nord 1, which is really insane given his age. At his age, this guy is gonna be the elite of the world when it comes to hair. It's incredible to see such density and straight hairline given his age. There's no signs of temple recession, no thinning crown, nothing except a full thick head of hair. I'm also pretty certain that it's not a hair piece because I'm sure that this guy guy has uh, you know, better things to do than to waste his energy on a hair piece at his age. I think once you get past his age or even get to his age, hair just really becomes obsolete. So statistically speaking, by age 60, about two thirds of men are going to be bald or they're balding. And as you guys know, it only gets worse as you age. So this guy was incredibly lucky to not only still have a full head of hair well past 100 years of age, but he's also won the genetic lottery in terms of health as well. The average life expectancy in the US is a little under 80 years of age. So this guy has more than surpassed that age. And based on the photo in the background, I don't think he is residing in the US. I would have to guess somewhere maybe in East Africa uh, or Africa. That's just a guess based on his ethnicity. And I, you know, I can totally be wrong. But countries that are situated in Africa tend to be um, considered a third world country. So with limited resources, the life expectancy of somebody living in Africa is gonna be way lower. So I looked it up as of 2020, males who are living in Africa had a life expectancy of around 62 years of age. So this guy has doubled that and it's always amazing to see people live up to such old age. He also looks way younger than most men in, in their 80s and a big portion of that is obviously due to having a full head of hair. The photo of the guy was taken from a tweet from a guy who was apparently celebrating his grandpa's 113th birthday. His age hasn't been verified unfortunately and there's no records of him online that I was able to find, but that's not really a surprise given that there's probably a good number of unvalidated super centenarians all over the world. And I don't see a reason why he would lie about celebrating his grandpa's birthday. But according to stats, one in a thousand make it to 110 years of age. And to date, the oldest uh, verified living person is 118 years of age and is living in Japan. And to be that one in a thousand with a full head of hair is even more of a rarity. So it's really incredible to really have such good genetics as his grandpa. Now, even in the US, we actually don't really see too many older men who are still able to maintain a full head of hair. Uh, you know, well past their 70s or 80s and beyond. I can actually only think of a few older men off the top of my head, including President Ronald Reagan, who had a full head of hair until, you know, he passed. Uh, Morgan Freeman, I think he's still in his 80s. He still has a pretty good amount of hair. We have Senator Joe Manchin at age 73. And even John Kerry, if you guys remember, the former Secretary of State also maintains a nice full head of hair. If we look at the former Speaker of the House, Paul Ryan, Although he's only about 50 years of age, he has an incredible adolescent hairline with a prominent widow's peak that just most would be um, just, you know, just, just so happy to have. And I bet that this guy is going to be able to maintain a full head of hair well into his later years and still likely not show any signs of hair loss. So at the end of the day, you know, no matter how old or young you are, if you guys are genetically predisposed to male pattern hair loss, meaning you have androgen receptor sensitivity at the hair follicles, you guys unfortunately are going to continue to lose hair as you age due to the sensitivity of androgens in the body uh, like testosterone and DHT. Unless you introduce a 5-alpha reductase inhibitor like finasteride or dutasteride or some other anti-androgen like RU58841 to combat the androgens that are causing the root cause of hair loss. For men like this 113 year old grandpa who was still able to you know, basically defeat the odds of male pattern hair loss and was able to still maintain his adolescent hairline are obviously not going to be susceptible to androgens like testosterone or DHT all throughout their lives, unlike most men, and is therefore able to still maintain a full head of hair. 
I'm sure that a lot of guys would be jealous to have a full head of hair like this crown point, including myself, uh, and even to live that long. But I feel like people who have a full head of hair always, you know, they take it for granted. They don't really understand the struggles of having to suffer from hair loss and the anxiety that follows from losing hair. And, you know, this is not their fault because they haven't gone through the struggles of losing hair. So they don't experience it. They don't have anything to relate it with. But the fact that they don't have to rely on hair loss medications with potential side effects, sexual side effects or hair transplants and even hair pieces is something that they really need to be thankful for. Because unfortunately, even in our, you know, our modern society, um, as far as current medication, it's one of the few things that we currently have that is able to slow down further uh, for the loss and regrow miniaturizing hair. So if you guys are losing hair, um, and you guys know that it's because of androgenic alopecia and not other some form of hair loss It's crucial that you start, you know, treating the root cause of genetic hair loss The androgens that are behind it that are causing the hair follicles to miniaturize And this means finding something that would fight against testosterone and DHT And other androgens that are produced in the body endogenously So the first line of defense that I would highly recommend is to get on a 5-alpha reductase inhibitor Or anti-androgen like finasteride or dutasteride uh, my case, I'm taking 0.5 milligrams of finasteride and then supplement it with a growth agonist like minoxidil to stimulate hair growth. Micro needling on a weekly basis would also be recommended as there are several studies to back up the efficacy and promoting growth factors through the wound healing process. Um, when it comes to uh, hair loss, prevention is always key. And once you guys are able to stabilize hair loss, you can look into treatments like a hair transplant to increase density and to improve your overall hairline. But you know, it all depends on each person at the end of the day. Um, they have to eventually weigh the pros and cons and really determine how important hair is to them and the lengths that you guys are willing to go to save your hair. Because with anything, there are side effects and there are going to be risks with medication and treatments. The most important thing though, is to really be proactive about treatment because the sooner that you guys start treatment, the sooner you're going to be able to potentially stop um, and even regrow back miniaturizing hair. But overall, I just can't believe how good this guy looks for his age, minimal facial wrinkles, and based on his cane, I'm guessing he's still able to walk around. So this guy is not only active and has a full head of hair, uh, but he just overall looks incredibly healthy and I bet that he still is slaying all of these women left and right. And that's something that money is never really able to buy. I think money or wealth can never buy good health. And when you look beyond the superficial things, you really have to be thankful for all the things that you really matter. I was also looking past some of the comments left by other Reddit users uh, from that page and couldn't help but laugh at a few of them. I'm gonna share some of them with you and then I'm gonna end this video. So one guy said that he looks like a fucking black Gandalf. <laughs> Another guy said that he looks younger than me and I am 29. God said, you'll die when you go bald. This guy said, challenge accepted. He told me that his regimen was derm rolling with 10 kilograms of RU58841 daily. Man beat the Norwood Reaper and the Grim Reaper. Imagine he starts receding at 114 years of age. Everyone on Reddit, bro, hop on the big three and a derm roller ASAP. He must be derm rolling like a mofo or mojo. The dude looks like he is 80 with a Norwood Zero and also has a BBC. <laughs> so hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it's a little bit different from some of the other topics that I you know, try to cover. Uh, but if you guys have any questions, make sure to leave me some comments below. I wish this guy uh, longevity. Uh, thanks for watching guys and I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Take care.